Right now, a confrontation you'll only see here as Target 8 discovers where a troubled doctor was treating patients again. When the city of Muskegon shut down an abortion clinic over what it called unsafe conditions, Target 8 promised to track the doctor who ran it. But even Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker was surprised to learn where Dr. Robert Alexander landed after leaving West Michigan. Ken? Yeah, Brian and Marley. It was last year that we uncovered cases where Dr. Alexander allegedly performed failed abortions that put women's lives at risk. We recently tracked a doctor to Detroit where he was working at a taxpayer funded job treating patients at an STD clinic despite a new complaint filed by the state accusing the doctor of incompetence and negligence. Excuse me, Dr. Alexander. My name's Ken Kulker. I'm a reporter from Wood TV. The new complaint filed by the state attorney general alleges incompetence and negligence while he was running the former Women's Medical Services in Muskegon. It also shows that by late last year, Alexander had moved on, that he was the director of a sexually transmitted disease center in Detroit. Last week, we found him running a different STD clinic on Woodward Avenue. I don't know how anyone would hire him because it's hard enough for me, you know, to get a job and I just worked for him. She worked for him for three years, she told us, as the manager of his clinic in Muskegon, right up until it closed in December 2012. Records show she even worked as his nurse without a nursing license. So you were not a licensed nurse? No, never. But you did nursing procedures, I mean you... I, yeah, I did nursing procedures. Including giving shots. She did not want to be identified. Are you surprised he still has his license? Yes. I'm very surprised. She is also surprised she hasn't gotten a call from the state. And you would be willing to talk to the state? Yes. If the state does call her, she said, she would have a lot to say. My last really where I was like, he has to be stopped is um, I came in and I found a sink full of dirty needles um, and he was cleaning them and he was getting ready to reuse them on women to give them the medication. So you watched him pull out a dirty needle out of the sink, out of the sink that he had cleaned and you saw him use it on another patient? Yes. She said it was her complaint to write to Life of Michigan in June 2012, six months before the clinic closed, that led to the latest allegations of incompetence and negligence by the state attorney general. What about the blood all over the place? And That's typical. He would, as soon as he would get done with a procedure, he would, you know, have it on his hand. He would touch the walls. He would walk all over. And then there was the broken ultrasound machine which she said left him guessing how far along his patients were. The ultrasound machine was broken. Um, so he would just do a, serv or, um, a vaginal exam and, you know, guess that way. He would guess how many weeks? Yes. She said she would also tell the state about botched abortions that she witnessed. There was quite a few that had to go in and get a, you know, a DNC. Some of them had to be hospitalized. A couple of them actually had to get a complete hysterectomy. In the latest complaint, Alexander blamed her, identifying her by name. He said that you told him you were a licensed practical nurse. No. <laughs> that and never happened? Never. <laughs> but he failed to verify your credentials. Never. He also said it was her job to clean the office, which she denies. This man is really a danger, uh, not only to women, but also all patients that he sees. It was Senator Tanya Schutmaker who co-authored legislation in response to a Target 8 investigation. Target 8 revealed how earlier allegations of botched abortions were dismissed without investigation by the former head of the State Board of Medicine, Dr. George Shade, who had years earlier helped Alexander get his medical license back. Alexander had served prison time for selling illegal prescriptions. The evidence is clear that uh, he should not have a license and it's only a failure in the system that really allows him to still practice today. She was surprised Detroit hired him. Last week, Target 8 confronted me, Alexander, Alexander outside the Detroit clinic. My name's Ken Kulker, I'm a reporter from Wood TV. We're doing a story about the allegations of uh, incompetency and um, Wondering if you might want to talk about that. <sighs> the next day he resigned, effective immediately. 
State officials refused to comment, citing those pending allegations. But we did hear from the nonprofit that runs the Detroit Clinic. They said they knew about Alexander's criminal history when they hired him, but not about the troubles at the Muskegon Clinic. They also say they were not aware of those latest allegations. I'm Target 8 Investigator Ken Colker.